Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. This one's for the part two of the Suspense Maglite cart. And like I told you in part one, we're gonna do this thing right. We're gonna put this thing through the paces and we're gonna put a couple different kayaks on it and take it over some different terrain and see how this thing handles and see if it can uh, handle the weight of the Brutus that I'm fixing to show you here in just a few minutes. I've got a really, really heavy kayak and uh we're gonna go ahead and get this thing set up and we're gonna start with a light kayak and then we're just gonna show you how to get it put on there and strapped down and everything so bear with us all right guys we got the kayak on the cart straps ready to go and we've got it hooked down here but uh one thing i will say that i'd like to see uh suspense do is put a spring clip right here on this strap because you know it's kind of aggravating when you go to the uh, the other side and, and this thing falls off. So in the future, it might be a good idea for uh, Suspense to, to use the clamp on the left instead of the one on the right. It's just got that little safety feature. But we have figured out something that would really help you guys out and uh, save you a little bit of hassle. Just watch. You take and you put it down on the bottom and just leave it there so it uh, doesn't fall off. And then you walk around the cart and see what happens it just pops itself back up well yep we'll do it for you again okay here we go again walk around the cart there you go you just pull up on it and voila you just keep tension on it and then you come around to this other side and you hook it in on the other side and just put some tension on it and you're good to go all right guys we got the kayak all strapped down and centered up on the cart and all you have to do now is just kick the kickstand down and it's spring loaded it's real simple and then all you got to do now is just pick the cart up and walk the thing all the way around the yard you can see that the thing turns on a dime I mean, that was a pretty good little drop off on the concrete right there. Got my buddy Jake helping me out here today. How's it turning, buddy? Oh, it's turning very smooth. Very smooth. Heard it from the man himself. Went right up that curb like it was nothing. Now we're gonna go around to the front and uh, check out some other places and different terrain. All right guys, we're up here in the driveway. We're just gonna take it through some gravel and see how it does and take it over some pond rock and a few co uh, concrete blocks and up and down a, a concrete hill like you would probably do at a boat ramp. And, and so here we go. You can see that it's rolling really, really easy. I mean, it handled that little drop off. No problem. Guys, I don't think you'll find a, a cart that works any better than that. Uh, I've made some custom carts. I've used some different brand carts. But I tell you, I think uh, this is the uh, the best of the best. I mean, you've got the flat-free tires, so you don't never have to worry about a flat. Um, you've got a lot of ground clearance to get over a lot of different obstacles. And, you know, you've got powder-coated steel, so it's going to resist rust. And, uh, you know, it folds down flat. Uh, it only weighs 17 pounds and you're able to haul up to 300 pounds with it so just bear with us we're fixing to put brutus on here and uh, see how she handles that all right guys i'm back we've got the brutus 
This is the Beaver Tail Stealth 2000 kayak. This is a huge kayak. This is bigger than the Jackson Big Rig. I mean, this thing is a monster. It is super, super wide. This thing weighs 130 pounds dry. Uh, this boat here, or well, I call it a boat. It's actually a kayak, but you might as well call it a boat. Uh, this thing is made for uh, duck hunting, and you can uh, actually have two people in this uh, kayak. They make it to where they have an extra seat that can go in the very front, and you know you see the the seat, their high seat there in the back. And uh, I wanted something that sat down a little bit lower, that'd be more comfortable, that had a lot more padding in it. So I just put a uh, a boat seat in there, get a piece of plywood mounted to it there on the bottom. That probably adds another 15 pounds. So you're looking at about 145 pounds worth of kayak here. And uh, it is very, very, very heavy. We're gonna have Mr. Jake get a hold of this thing and, and show you just how easy this thing rolls and moves on this uh, suspense maglite cart. You've seen the way he whipped that thing around like it was nothing. He's going to run this thing through some gravel. And guys, keep in mind, this ain't no feather. This is about the biggest obstacle you'd run across as far as the, the size and, and weight of a kayak that there is. You know, you can check out their, their website. It's ex Explorer Beaver Tail Stealth 2000. If you want to look up the specs on this boat, it's no, it's no lie. This thing is seriously a big kayak. You see it just run right over those uh, concrete blocks and through those river stone and uh, it's got it through the yard. So, all right guys, we're gonna wrap this review up. I appreciate you watching and please like and subscribe my channel. Make sure you hit the notification button because we're gonna have a lot more videos coming up uh, this season and we've just got a lot of different stuff coming out and if there's something that you see that you would like for me to do a review on please leave it in the comments and uh you know let me know what you guys think i'm i love reading your comments i do read them i read every one of them so uh anyways guys talk to you later check out suspense mag light cart you will really appreciate it it makes a, a heavy job so much easier talk to you guys later